close up. Close it. Uh -huh. Hit the viewers at home and hit there. One there. <laughs> 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 Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Respect it. <laughs> Do you need to put it in your skin box? Hey oh, guys, what's going on? It's sup. Boss! Coming to you from massivejoes.com. I'm here with Massive Joe's general manager, Steve Mills. Hello. AKA the Vanilla Gorilla. AKA John Cena V2. AKA Big Nevos. What's Hello. Happening, baby? Hello. You good? I was thinking last night I went and uh, babysat my little niece who's eight months old. But yes. My mum was reading her, uh, reading her book mm -hmm. and one of the animals in there was a gorilla and she asked what noise gorillas make. Mm. I had no clue. Is it a gorilla from Manila? I don't know. I just thought they were in there. This up was, we are joined by our always impartial, always prepared referee of peace, Boss Josh. I'm not prepared. Could stop a war between North and South Korea, I reckon. I'm, I'm not prepared at all. You're not prepared? No. This one. No, it hasn't come prepared, Big Dave. Mm. Well, you, fucking, you better quickly prepare because this up was. One of the most highly anticipated sub wars we have seen thus far on arguably two of the most popular powdered form thermogenic fat loss supplements in the Australian marketplace at this point in time. It is, of course, EHP Labs OxyShred up against Ghost Burn. Mm. <laughs> oh, big knee. I just want to say that OxyShred is probably the all-time best-selling fat burner that Massive Joe's ever had, just about. I would probably agree. Because we've had it. We were actually the first stockers of OxyShred in Australia. We were. So it's been like a good five or six years we've had Longer. it. Longer. I think the, uh, in fact, Dylan, throw out a, a throwback to the original OxyShred Raw Review. Awesome Raw Review for the viewers at home today, man. Actually, Raw Review, man, that I am stupid excited about is a new product from a new company, and you know what? You know what? I'ma call it before I've even shown you the product, man. I'ma call it right now. I'm gonna say the most complete, the most effective powdered form fat burning supplement we have seen thus far. But um, it's been a long time, and uh, yeah, as I said, it's just a consistent sales. So I think the consistent sales over that period of time makes mm. it the best-selling all-time fat burner we've actually. I am gonna series. just to not that I'm you know not that I'm a hype master, but just to hype up the sub wars, I'm gonna say it is a David and Goliath battle. Mm. Goliath being Oxy Shred, and I am gonna say I'm gonna say the best-selling thermogenic powdered fat loss supplement ever. Mm. in the Australian marketplace, up against the newcomer. It's only been on the market since April. Mm. Launched uh, Sydney Fitness Expo, which was April. So it's only been on the market just over three months. But it is crushing everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say a David and Goliath fat burner battle. And this sup wars, Boss Josh. Yo. We're going five rounds? Mm, yeah. If we we're, going, it, we're going yeah. ingredients, nutritional breakdown. Absolutely. We're going flavors and tastes. Of course. We're going value for money. Yep. We're going effects. Mm -hmm. And what's going to be the fifth round if we need it? A good old versatility. Versatility mm. in the fifth round, the tie break if required. Mm -hmm. Big Navy, you ready? I am. Round one. Ingredients, nutritional breakdown. Who's going? You. All right. So I've reached out to my man. I, I believe I believe the, the the reigning champ always goes first, do they not? So I've reached out to my man Iz, who is the owner of EHP Labs. And I've got a fully disclosed nutritional panel of OxyShred, which no has way. never been released. <laughs> Are you serious? OxyShred Is that legit? OxyShred are... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> OxyShred are actually going... How did you get this? OxyShred are actually going to be changing their labels to become fully disclosed with wow. the next run. Thank goodness for that. 
So, I actually, and this is, I don't know if this is the first time, but I'm going to say first time. I'm actually time. interested to see this because I've never seen this before. First time publicly that the information panel has been uh, released. Oh, wow. Big Navy coming through with the goods. So. Fucking hell. Without further ado, I don't know if a deal can throw this up or we'll somehow we'll try and get it up there. I don't know. Uh, is this, is this, are we allowed to make this public? Yeah, I asked him and he said, Yeah, we go can. for it. Put it so, up. <laughs> we're going two scoops because you're going two scoops, so I'll go two scoops. Yep. Two scoops of acetyl carnitine, three and a half grams. Caffeine and hydrous, 300 milli oh, sorry, milligrams, 300 milligrams. Yeah. Uh, green coffee bean extract, 50. Mm -hmm. uh, Advantage Z, 30% cinephrine. So uh, it actually yields uh, over the top is 50, no, 100 milligrams per two scoops. Uh, no, what do we work it out as? No, 100, 100 milligrams of the. No, sorry, coffee. 100 milligrams at 30% is 30 yeah. milligrams. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. I was going to yeah. say that's the maximum legal dose. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm working out the, uh, yeah. the percentages here. Olive leaf, 50. Uh, hydroxy citric acid, a gram. Mm -hmm. Natural raspberry ketones, 100 milligrams. Mm -hmm. CLA, 250 milligrams. Grapefruit seed extracts, 100. Guggle, 100. African mango, uh, 100. Taurine, 700 milligrams. Tyrosine, 700 milligrams. Theobromine, 100 milligrams. Hoobazine A is, active component is 50 micrograms per scoop, so it's 100 micrograms per two scoops. Uh, vitamin C, 250. L-glutamine, one and a half grams. Chromium picolate 0.01, and then a whole heap of other uh, other stuff, which is just uh, yeah. Obviously, you just want to bring in uh, natural flavors, natural colors, mm. and it's flavored by sucralose. So that's the only sweetener that's in there. Yeah. So what part of sucralose is natural? Just real quick. Well. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm quite I'm quite happy that we have this fully disclosed nutrition information <laughs> on a boxy tray because it makes it easier for me to rip it to shreds. Oh. Where would you like me to start? Have you done your research? <laughs> oh, mate, have I done my research? Let me just real quick. I'm just going to give a quick overview of uh, the Ghost Burn nutritional panel. We have a thousand micrograms of chromium. We have three thousand milligrams of carnitine, split 50/50 between L-carnitine and L-tartrate and acetyl L-carnitine. We have a thousand milligrams of choline. We have 600 milligrams of KSM 66 ashwagandha extract. 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine. 300 milligrams of caffeine. 100 milligrams of the neurofactor. 40 milligrams of the grains of paradise extract standardized for 12% six paradol. We've got 30 milligrams of the synephrine, the synephrine hydrochloride. We've got 20 milligrams of theobromine and 10 milligrams of bioparin black pepper extract to help your body absorb all the goodness. The reason why Ghost Burn is winning this round, Big Neve, mm -hmm. is because it touches every part of fat loss supplementation that we look for in a fat loss supplement. Let me just point out real quick, thermogenesis, what do you have? Uh, caffeine? Nope. Cinephrine? Nope. That's what I thought. Thermogenesis in Ghost Burn, we have a full clinical dose of the grains of paradox, the paradox extract. Six paradox. Six paradox. Grains of paradise. Grains of paradise. Standardized as six paradox for thermogenesis. Where, where would you like me to go next? Wherever you want to go, you're the one running this. Right. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go energy. What do you have? Caffeine. We have caffeine as well. Advantage Z. Yep, we have synaphrine as well. I just want to say uh, that Same the- Same doses actually. So let's call that round a tie. What is yours Advantage Z? It's synaphrine hydrochloride. It doesn't need to be Advantage Z. I'm Same just say, active ingredient. The, uh, the ratios used in uh, yep. OxyShred of Advantage Z yep. and caffeine are the exact ratios in a study mm -hmm. shown to boost squat performance, increasing it's a performance, fat burner, mate. increasing performance. I'm not taking a fat burner. I'm not taking oxy right. shred to increase performance. Right. I'm taking oxy shred to burn fat. Well, let's this, talk let's about. Let's take this point to round four then. Let's. T you can take whatever point you want to round four. Let's talk about what ingredients you have there to control fat loss hormones such as insulin and cortisol. Uh, chromium pickle, whatever it is. In what dose? Zero point zero one. Milligrams. Which is how many micrograms? Uh, hundred. Shit. It was 200 per serve. No, I think is that 100 or, or 10 micrograms? I have a thousand so micrograms, one. Which, is <clears throat> one, which is one milligram for insulin. What do you have for cortisol control? 
Oh, I don't have any ashwagandha in there. Exactly. I got a full clinical dose of KSM 66. What do you got for focus? Trademark registered ashwagandha. Well, I was just about to ask you the same question. What do you have for focus, Big Neat? Hoopazine A. Yep. Uh, the problem with Hoopazine A is it doesn't work very well unless you have tyrosine. choline. Tyrosine. Do you have choline? No, I got tyrosine. No, I don't think so. So why would you put Hoopazine A? It's a got tyrosine. Ingredient. Hoopazine A stops the breakdown of excess acetylcholine. If you've got nothing boosting acetylcholine, Hoopazine A can do shit. I have choline, I have tyrosine, and I have the patented trademarked Neurofactor. Josh, your inputs? Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, good formulas all around. I'm really surprised by- Fuck off, good formulas oh, it, all no, around. Are it you is. serious? I am genuinely surprised by the breakdown I was gonna say, of acetyl oxytret. Acetylcarnitine. What are you surprised about? Acetylcarnitine, I'm, clinically dose. I'm surprised about the acetylcarnitine being more than a you little sprinkling. You know what, sprinkling. I'll be honest. You know what I was most surprised about? The one and a half grams of fucking L-glutamine in a fat burner. No, L-glutamine and vitamin C in there mm. for your um, immune system. I'm going to be. Come on, I'm mate. going to be. I'm going to be increasing my cardio. I'm going to be Come a little, on, bit, little bit run down. Listen, <laughs> I don't want those. Sniffles. Listen, L-glutamine is there in there as a filler. That's what it's in there for. Don't get it twisted. Ghost what also. You, Ghost also use... has a filler, and it's not uncommon for fa for powdered form fat loss supplements to have fillers because the active ingredients are so specifically smallly dosed. Ghost uses polydextrose, which is a fiber. Oxyshred uses the fucking glutamine. But when do you use glu glutamine, personally? I don't use glutamine. Or when have glutamine. you used it in the past? Or I, when do you I, recommend I people to use it? You recommend them to be using it in a calorie deficit when yeah. they're cutting. Yeah, post-workout, if you're going to use it at all. But you, not in a one and a half grid. No, it's bullshit. It's in there as a filler. That's what I was surprised about. What else are you surprised about, referee Bosch? Ah, uh, for... I'm surprised about the sinopharin, the theobromine doses. Yeah. That was interesting. I'm surprised um, that they've taken hygienamine now. That was one of my favourite ingredients. Well, I can't because it's banned in sports. Mm. Yeah. The hypersine A was interesting. Actually, like a decent dose of it. It's, yeah. a, it's a shame about it not having the other elements, but That's right. surprising. Needs choline. Um, yeah. This is actually, it's just... Call this round one, Yeah. All oh, right, fine. Ghost burn. Round one. Ghost to ghost burn. It's zero to one, leading into round two. Flavours and tastes. So I've got currently seven flavours. Oh. I want to make sure I get them all. Yeah, don't want to forget them. Kiwi strawberry, pink grapefruit, wild melon, mango, passion fruit, and the limited edition orange gummy. That's not seven. What one of them missed out on? There is one I've missed out on. I missed one. Go through them again. Kiwi strawberry, pink grapefruit, melon. Wild melon, yep. Mango. Mango. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. There's one more. Guava. Guava. Guava paradise. And orange. And orange. And they did the rainbow flavor as well. Well, they did rainbow candy and they did pink lighter as the uh, mm. limited edition, Editions but they're not there editions. anymore. They're yeah. going to be bringing out another two limited editions. Mm. In the Ghost Burn comes in three flavors. It comes in Warheads. Let me just, just sit on that for a bit. Warheads. Referee, please take note. Oh, branded. Ooh. Warheads, sour green apple. Warheads, sour watermelon and mango. Mm. Not, not great. One good flavour, perhaps. You Oops. can't deny how good Oxyshow flavours are, can you? No. You can't. You really can't. And they've just, they've always been the, the choice. <sighs> yeah, it, it's got to be Oxyshred. Round two it goes to EHP Labs Oxyshred. It's one, one, leading into round three. And that is, of course, price and value for money. Mm. What do you got? Uh, Oxyshred. Sixty-four ninety-five for thirty serves. Sixty-four. Seventy-four ninety-five. Seventy-four ninety-five. Fuck. Skager for thirty serves. Well, sixty serves, but thirty serves. We're doing the two serves. Yeah, thirty yeah. then. Ghost burn seventy-four ninety-five for twenty serves. Oh. Round three. Yep. Goes to EHP Labs. Mm. Oxy shred. It's two to one, leading into round four. Effects. You can start this one. I will start this one. The reason why... Oh, uh, here we go. I just, can I put a bib on for the amount of bullshit that's going to fly here? <laughs> Some kind of schmock? You might want to just leave the room. <laughs> no, no, I <laughs> never <wear. laughs> The reason why Ghost Burn deserves to win this round, and this is going to be a very tight round because the effects of both of these products are quite good 
and quite well pronounced, just to be completely, you know, just right from the start. The reason why Ghost Burn is better is for two main purposes. The first one is the thermogenic effect, of which Oxy Shred you achieve zero, of which Ghost Burn, it's perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean sometimes you take a fat burner and there's too many thermogenics, there's too much, and you sit there and you're in like a pool of sweat, or if you're doing cardio, you've got like cold sweats and it's just uncomfortable. Ghost Burn, when it comes to thermogenic effect, is perfect. It's just the right amount of increase in body temperature. <laughs> you, can we cut back to two weeks ago yep. <laughs> when I was ghost burn talking about thermogenesis and you were ragging on it because nobody wants that effect in a fat burner. Not everyone wants to feel that way. Have you heard of double jeopardy before? <laughs> yeah. That stuff was is done, mate. Not everyone wants done. that effect. Not everyone wants to be sweating their ass off doing... Hold on. Doing Hold on. If we go to round five, you can use that in round five. I'm saying why the effects of ghost burn are better than oxy shred. The other effects of ghost burn that are better than oxy shred is the synergism between the energy <coughs> and the feeling of well-being. Nothing comes close from a fat burner because I've had fat burners that are down one end of the scale where it's just not enough, which I consider oxy shred to be down that end of the scale. And then I have had fat burners where it's just too much. It's like you get jittery and anxious and it's just shit. Ghost burn has got that, per it's found that perfect delta between physical energy with the caffeine and the synephrine, and then the mental focus and feeling of well-being with the neurofactor, the choline and the tyrosine, and just the actual effects that you experience from it are very, very pleasant. Look, I'm going to say the feelings, the feelings are exactly the same with OxyShred because I've been using them. I've been using OxyShred during the day at work mm -hmm. uh, because we've had a few tubs open in the kitchen. Yep. And I've been using them and the feelings are exactly the same in terms of focus well, and energy not. without the thermogenesis feeling because I'm not sweating my ass off. And I know you can say that's round but five. We're talk but we're talking about fat burners here. We're talking about you're buying either ghost burn or oxy but I'm just saying to burn fat. I know, but I'm just saying that I use it. Do you or do you not want the thermogenic effect? I argue that yes, 100% you do. Yeah, but it's you not know round what one. We're want? not talking about nutritional panel. You know yet. what else you want? You've just you repeated want, round you one. You want your, no, we're not talking, we're talking You've actual just effects. About, and and I'm talking about the actual effects that you, you get no, you feel no thermogenesis on oxy shred. Yes, you Zero. do. None. It definitely heats you up. Bullshit. It does not. Josh? Does not. We're going to stand here and say yes or no. I'm just mm. going to say the other reason why the effects of ghost burn are better is because when you're in caloric deficit and you're actually trying to burn fat, because just a reminder, that's what we're talking about here. We're not talking about take it, make you feel nice. We're talking about taking it to lose body fat. The other thing you want is your body's ability to cope with the stress of being in a caloric deficit, of which the KSM 66 is unprecedented for helping with your body cope with stress. You can't say that the acetylcarnitine, Adventure Z, caffeine, <coughs> tyrosine, hoopazine, no, but hoopazine A. I'll take another win for round one if you want. Hoopazine A, you just add that to no, the but hoopazine no A, no all tied together to give you a dialed in effect. Yeah, but, the, but on paper, yes, but it just doesn't well, they do. feel no, they as do. good as goes burn. They do. It doesn't feel as good as goes Because burn. it hasn't got choline, I admit that. Yeah. But it still gives you that, that dialed Does in feeling. Does it have tyrosine in it? Uh, you yeah, have tyrosine? yeah. How much? 700 milligrams per two scoops, which yeah, is okay. clinical dose. So similar. It's just, I think it might even be the neurofactor. There's just something about ghost burn that the actual, the actual effects, not on paper, not theoretic, the actual effects. But I'm not saying on it paper. Just feels I'm saying much better. with those six, uh, six ingredients I've just said, including tyrosine. Look. Gives you that dialed in feeling. I think I have just the, the dagger to the heart. Oh, yeah. Well, you, there's no fucking dagger being rather, entered at no, all. Well, rather than give you a death by, <laughs> death by a thousand cuts, I'm just going to take the sword and just cut your fucking head. Yeah. I'm about to start a cut. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually started this well, week. Oh, it's the one I'm going to use. As you would know. Fuck, is that seriously a fucking point? I'm <laughs> and I'm using I'm Oxy Shred. Using and I'm using Oxy Shred. But you're not in a cut at the moment. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You're in recovery from your fucking pec surgery. I've been cutting. I've been doing 45 you minutes. You cutting shit. I've been doing 45 minutes of cardio every day and I've cut out my carbs. The last time I used Oxy Shred in a cut was like five years ago. Well, I'm using it currently in the melon flavor. Wild melon. Boss Josh. Hey, guys. Yeah, look. Um, yeah. They're both very good on the effects, 
but I'll have to say that Ghost Burn just has that little bit extra. Even though they're very similar on paper from a stimulant level, you definitely feel more from Ghost Burn. You get more out of it, more energy, more boost, more drive, and you get that little bit extra of a thermogenic effect, which you're looking at the effects of a fat burner. Ghost Burn wins the actual effects. Round four goes to Ghost Burn. It's 2-2, two, two. it's a tie. Oh, We're going to the tie break, baby. Now, boss, just real quick, are yep. you sure, because you can, round, the tie back can be whatever the fuck you want. Are you sure you want it to be versatility? Think about the consumer experience here, and I don't know what the answer is. I think, I think it has to be, because versatility yep. is the only other factor that people, I mean, people buy fat burners because they want to use it either pre-cardio, pre-exercise, whatever, or yep. as a pick-me-up or a nootropic during the day or whatever it's going to yep. be. So, versatility. So, OxyShred is definitely our most popular fat burner with the females because mm. one scoop gives the females the perfect amount of energy that they need in a fat burner. Mm. Plus, with one scoop, it still gives that 1.75 grams of acetyl carnitine. Yes, it's not the two grams of l carnitine, but it's still 1.75, which is very close to that clinical dose. The other thing is, you've got, uh, as you said, six paradol, grains of paradise, which heats you up. The thermogenesis is too much for some people. Not everyone wants to be sweating their ass off doing cardio. And I know a lot of people that don't want to be drenched in sweat. You might want to because you're a hardcore bodybuilder and you enjoy that effect, but not everyone likes that. The other stuff I said as well before with the focus is I've been using this during the day at work, answering emails, doing my work, and it's been dialing me in. So you can use it as a fat burner. As I said before, the, uh, the mixture of Advantra Z and uh, caffeine in the exact ratio that was shown in the study that was in 2015 um, showed an incre a significant increase in squat performance, which also shows that it can be used pre-workout as well to increase squat performance. That's it? Yep, that's, that's all I've got for now. Work. Good. I just want to put a question to the referee. Mm, referee, sure. if yep. I came to you with a formula that contained chromium and KSM-66, what would you think that would be used for? Well, controlling insulin and cortisol. Fantastic. If I came to you with a formula that contained L-carnitine, L-tartrate, and acetyl L-carnitine in a one-to-one -one ratio, mm -hmm. what do you think that would be used for? Looking at fat metabolism. Mm. If I came to you with a formula that contained caffeine, L-tyrosine, neurofactor, and choline, what do you think that would be used for? Energy and focus. Mm -hmm. If I came to you with a formula that contained grains of paradise and mm. synephrine, and theobromine, what do you think that would be used for? Thermogenesis. Mm. 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 Interesting. Seems like Ghost Burn actually does four things. We've already been over this in the last round that we didn't seems know any like, thermogenesis. You've like just repeated round four again. <laughs> no, it seems like when He's it just, comes to uh, versatility, those first three points, I've got I all of them. I can use Ghost Burn as, uh, as, as, as a hormone control supplement. Mm. You can't use oxy for that. Chromium, still got chromium in there. It's it's a shit dose of chromium. You may, no, you may as well have fucking pixie dusted the chromium. No, it's got chromium in there. Doesn't matter. Shit, shit dose. Well, you've got a shit dose of acetyl carnitine. You've got a shit dose of acetyl carnitine. I've got 3,000 milligrams. Both of them not can of be used as fat I'm, gonna, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to question that. Both of them can be used. Ghost burn can be used as a nootropic. So can oxy -tread. Bullshit. <laughs> Are we just fucking repeating all the rounds again? No, it's not being used as a nootropic. It's being used as a caffeine source. There's a difference. What do you have in there that's going to help boost actual psychological performance? Hoopazine A. We're, we're just going over the fucking no, rounds come again. On, no, I want to hear it. Hoopazine A. No. Then what do you, you have no choline, so it's redundant. It's a redundant ingredient if it's not combined with choline. It does fucking nothing. What else do you have? Tyrosine. How much? 700 milligrams. Well-being, not mental focus. What else do you have? Caffeine. It's bullshit. Ghost burn is a nootropic inside a fat burner. Inside a fat burner. You've already you go you've already gone over these in previous it's rounds. It's more versatile because you can't it can go be back used and do round one for and hormone control. It can be used as a nootropic, and then the other effects they both do. But you Ghost Burn has those two on just top going of back over round. He's going back over round one and four again. I'm not again. going back over Judge round Judge or whatever the fuck you want to be called. If I'm <laughs> sitting at my desk <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, fuck, I've got a task that I need to really zone in and mental focus. I'm not taking Oxy Shred because it's not going to do it. Ghost Burn is going to do it. 
If I'm having issues because I'm consistently stressed throughout the day, I've got high levels of anxiety, my boss is screaming at me, I'm under the pump, I'm not gonna go and take OxyShred because OxyShred is gonna make it worse. I'm gonna take Ghost Burn because it's got the ashwagandha and the chromium in there, it's gonna settle me the fuck down. The one scoop, two scoop bullshit argument you came up with applies to both. No, it doesn't. You're significantly underdosing acetyl carnitine if you get one scoop. No, I'm not significantly underdosed. I got 1.5 grams. 750 milligrams in one scoop. No. Acetyl carnitine. No. Oh, of acetyl, yeah, but carnitine together. When would you ever use L-carnitine or tartrate? You'd probably use acetyl or carnitine if you, you had would. choice. Terribly underdosed. No, it's not. It's got a gram less in there. It's far per more scoop. versatile. I'm just gonna listen. Once again, rather than death by a thousand cuts, I'm just gonna cut your head off with a samurai sword. Have you seen better <laughs> merchandising than a ghost burnt up? Just quickly, when it comes to versatility, I would use this as a decoration in my house. <laughs> What do you like better? The, do you like better the apple flavour or the taste of dancing? <laughs> <laughs> Serious? No, if we're bear, talking... His balls must be sitting in your fucking esophagus by now. <laughs> if we're talking <laughs> versatility. Oh, can use it as a Christmas decoration, mate. Looks like it belongs in a hospital. It doesn't. Yeah, it does. Bus Josh. I, right. you, my friend. I, I just want to bring back the fact that Joe's just used ones and point round one and four again. I know, there's a lot of overlapping. I know, don't worry. This is why it's called a tie break, mate. <laughs> right. Splitting hairs. Going back to Steve's first point about being versatile with different genders, different people wanting different fat burners, definitely. OxyShred was definitely and always has been one of the most popular fat burners because of the ability that you can use it at different stimulant levels, one scoop, two scoops throughout the day, all that sort of shit. And it was the only one on the market because everything else was way too strong, way too thermogenic until April, until Ghost brought out Ghost Burn, where that's definitely stepped in as one of the newer fat burners that are at that same energy level, same stimulant level, but with a slightly better formula and therefore slightly better effects. And definitely from a versatility standpoint, nootropic based, um, it does make it more versatile as a formula. So it's got to be Ghost Burn. Oh. Yeah! I'm down. Come That's on. what's up. <laughs> Sorry, I get passionate about the tie breaking stuff. It always gets me fired up. Round five goes to Ghost Burn, which, guys, means this sup wars has been one, two to three. Ghost Burn with the narrow win and the tie break over EHP Labs Oxy Shred. I reckon we got to do a scoop test. <sighs> scoop we, test. Can, we can scoop test if you want, because I actually know. Oh, you just did it then. I know where the ghost, we, uh, I mean, we can do it if you want. No, that's right. It's <laughs> very risky for Oxy Shred though. <laughs> Not that it matters, I mean, you lost anyway. You might as well lose by disqualification. It's up to you, you want to scoop test? No. I didn't think so. Could be a little bit of a, do you, do you think it might even be a passing, a passing of the, no. the torch? Definitely not. A, a changing of the guard. Definitely not. You don't reckon? No? No. No? No. No? no. <laughs> Fucking wrap it up. I think. <laughs> I just can't wait for this to go live on Pornhub. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Joe Fallacious Dan from Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's like your, whenever, whenever, whenever I like go hard in a sub wars. Yeah, because you have invested interest. No, because I enjoy winning <laughs> sub wars. <laughs> you have invested interest. <laughs> you give me any sub wars, I'll go to battle and try and fucking win. I'm just very competitive in, by nature. Mm. Anyway, Big Nevos, do you have anything else you'd like to add? No. Boss Josh, mm. our impartial, always prepared referee. Mm. Thank you for your adjudication in oh, the sub wars. My pleasure. Very much appreciated. Very close sub wars. Big knee boss. That's a wrap for this episode of Sup Wars. Ghost Burn with a narrow win over Oxy Shred in the tie break. Big knee boss, you want to tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button.
subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on, both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC, so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Guys, that is Sup Wars. That is a wrap. Where are we coming to and from? Nee. Massivejoe's.com. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.